Hey guys, this is Suns Fan, and welcome to week 11 of Dota Cinema's Art Showcase. First up is a great digital painting by FK Awesome, made to look like a charcoal piece by using only one default brush in Photoshop. The artist did a great job in creating motion and action with the use of blurred lines, and the coloring and highlighting is well done. The next piece is by N2C. It's not often one sees chibi art in action, but when you do and it's done right, one can't help but get excited. Here we see both Tusk and Abaddon in action. The artist did a great job in creating the punch effect on the Tusk piece, and the glowing effect on Abaddon's sword and the eyes on him and his mount. Next are some clay models of Batrider and Morphling by Vanilla Cat. Both pieces show that the artist has a great grasp of sculpting, with the muscles and wings on the mount as well as the splash effects on Morphling. Both are finished off with great coloring using acrylic paints. The God of Olympus looks pretty badass in this drawing which one needs to look at its fullest resolution to truly appreciate. The amount of effort put into this painting by Comte Dracula is very noticeable in the face, the fabric of his clothes, as well as his hair. The Sven who's channeling God's strength is a great accompanying piece. The transition from blue to red is executed flawlessly, and the blur effect tops off the whole piece. If imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, then Vulcanizer, the artist of this piece, is Kunkka's biggest fan. He's recreated one of Kunkka's popular loading screens, which you may also recognize as a thumbnail for this show. He did this using traditional media. Painted with acrylics, each hero and each action has been captured to a T. Next is a piece by Kebab, which is a mixture of creepy and adorable. This realistic Pugna painting stares into your soul. The artist did a great job in showcasing the other light source that is within Pugna, and the bones as well as the cape look very decrepit. The creativity of this community can still take me by surprise with this piece by Ugur Kangbakara as an example. The artist has replaced icons for their Apple product to Dota 2 icons, and each corresponding icon matches the program or task they're assigned to. It's quite fitting if you ask me. And finally, this piece of Kunkka and Tide mid-battle has the artist, Rifeistrom, making creative use of hatching and line weight to create details and shading. The scene is set up to bring the viewer into the fray and chaos. The tentacles to depict Tide's ultimate, as well as the expression on Tide himself, shows the true monster that he is. Thanks for watching this week's art showcase. As mentioned, the rest of the art featured has been posted on our website. A big thanks goes out to Sajidine for sorting through all the submissions and organizing this series. Until next week's episode, this is Suns Fan signing out.